uh, there's been a question about a child that runs away and is violent towards others. Um, just to talk about some strategies and that kind of complexity when you have the high emotions and the child is physically and they're running away, which is a huge challenge within any child person. When emotions are already high, it is already too late to assist that child. So we would have to look at what happens prior to that high emotion thing. But let's say, I'm not saying that it's too late. That means we don't want to do anything with it. I want you to come to the fact that when you talk about getting to their level, most of the time when people talk about getting to their level, they think about this, for instance, and I think I was talking Nikki a few days ago about this. Um, there's a child crying, upset, so the emotion is sad. Okay, You approach the child and you're new to, the, to your organization, let's say, or to the experience. And you have no idea how, what to do now, right? So you look at your staff members and say, what do I do? Staff and says, get to them, get down to their level. And it's always get down, down to their level, as in something is down there, okay? So, and usually the responses are, you sit down. But then what happens? That, we don't talk about that now. We say, make an eye contact. I, if you're listening to this as a group, have a look at the person sitting next to you and may try and make an eye contact for five seconds and see how it feels. Okay, especially if you're emotional. Okay, getting down to the level was limited to being physical. That is, I'm going to sit down. Getting down to the level should also be emotional. If that person is sad, think about the last time you were sad and what worked for you, what didn't work for you. Therefore, for educators, you and I need to be, become a bit more self-aware. So I've been saying to my people when I work with them to name the emotion they are going through. So you name it. You say, I'm sad. I'm sad. I'm happy. I'm happy. And then I, I understand the physiology happening with it. So when you're sad, what's going on? What do you not want to do? Say it. Say it loudly. Emotions are physiological. So name it. So that you are so aware of your emotion, when you approach that, you have the chance, chance, not 100% chance, to get to that level. And I have seen a number of times, if a child is upset, you go there knowing, hey, you look upset to me. And just and you don't even have to say necessarily anything, but know that what did you like when you were upset? What were you like? What did you not like to happen around you?